We begin hour 18 with that CBS2 investigation. For months, sex offenders in Chicago were given a grace period. The registration office was closed due to COVID-19. Now the office is back open, but some sex offenders say they still can't get through. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Megan, what are police saying about this? Erica, Chicago police tell me the office is finally open, but because it was closed so long, there's a backlog. The phone lines are tied up and their advice is to just keep trying. The criminal registration unit at 35th and Michigan had been shuttered since March, but as of September 15th, CPD says they're finally accepting appointments via two dedicated phone lines. The only problem? The number they told me to just call, I called that first. Yeah. Eduardo Burgos needs to change his address, but tells me he can't get through. How long have you been trying to register? This time around uh, for a month. This week, another Chicago sex offender who doesn't want to be identified reached out to me with the same problem. Hey, uh, call back in two weeks. You know, keep checking back. Sorry, we don't have any information for you. You know, what if you're trying, what if you're trying to make a change? Every turn, it can start to seem like all the doors are closed. CPD says that because of the backlog, officers have been directed not to arrest an individual solely for being late to register due to the circumstances. But then you got arrested. I got arrested two days ago and charged. Burgos was arrested by police in Summit for failing to register, but he was told he can't register in Summit until his appointment with Chicago, which he hadn't gotten yet. Why didn't you do anything, they say? Well, I did. Burgos wants more manpower dedicated to the phone lines and to appointments, not just for the sake of sex offenders, but for the sake of their victims as well. But the only other option is to go to jail, you know. Now, Chicago police say that a letter was mailed to registrants about the office closing back in March, and they can show that letter to an officer that inquires about their registration status. Erica? Well, Megan, it's now been six months since sex offenders have been able to update their addresses. Do we know how many addresses are in the database that are out of date? So that's a very good question. There are more than 2,600 sex offenders just in the city of Chicago. And before COVID, the CBS2 investigators found that most of those, that, or not most of them, but some of those address, addresses were wrong, fake, non-existent. So it's really not clear what this lapse could do to the registry overall. Live at 35th in Michigan, Megan Hickey, CBS2 investigators. All right, Megan, thank you. Well, another study looked at sex offender programs across the country and found while it's not unheard of to suspend registrations, it isn't very common. CrimeReport.org discovered out of 182 agencies, only a dozen halted registrations because of the virus. 44 are allowing sex offenders to register by phone or online. 126, more than half, still require in-person registration. Catch up on all our past investigations into sex offender registry issues on our new app. Search CBS Chicago where you get your apps and look for the CBS2 Investigators section.